Hey guys, welcome to Practical Home Projects. So today we're going to be diagnosing a frozen heat pump as well as replacing a defective defrost control panel. So if you guys really like the stuff we do, we would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and then leave any comments down below if you have any feedback for us. If you want to jump straight into the defrost control panel replacement, just hit that timestamp down below. So I woke up one morning and saw that the heat pump was covered in ice. And this was like an inch and a half of ice. Whereas normally during its cycle, it might build up just a little bit of frost, but then that frost would be melted back off by the defrost cycle. You might also notice that the fan on your HVAC unit is making a really loud noise, or that the thermostat inside is showing that it's using auxiliary heat or emergency heat, even though it's not that cold. Those could all be symptoms of a defective defrost cycle. So the HVAC system is one of the more technical parts of your entire house. So I actually did a lot of research before we even dove into this, and this is definitely a place where if you do something incorrectly, you could either hurt yourself or damage the system and end up with tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage. So absolutely consult a professional before you get into anything if you're ever unsure. We actually hired an HVAC specialist to come out here and do the initial diagnosis. I was a little bit concerned that we might have a refrigerant issue, and as a homeowner, you should never be working with refrigerant. You need a special OSHA certification because that refrigerant is a major ozone depleter. Our issue ended up being a defective control panel, so that's a relatively easy thing for a homeowner to both diagnose and replace. And we found ours for about $65 online, and that's way better than you know the $940 that the HVAC specialist was gonna charge to replace it. The first step is to remove this protective cover for your electronics. So this is the defrost control panel. When everything is working correctly, this will detect when the fins are below freezing and it will do three things. It will shut off the fan, it will reverse the flow of the refrigerant, and it will initiate the heating coils inside so the house doesn't uh, get too cool. And then with the refrigerant reversed, those fins will warm up very rapidly, which should melt any ice off that's accumulated. With the test, we need to trick this defrost control panel into thinking that the unit is frozen and to convince it to go from the heating cycle into the defrost cycle. So the first thing I'm going to do is flip this timer, which says 30, 60, 90 test, into test mode so that we don't have to wait for the full cycle. And the second thing I'm going to do is go turn on the heat so that the fan is up and running. And then now I just need to trick the temperature sensor by closing this circuit. So this, and on my defrost panel, it's defrost and then R defrost. So I'm just going to touch those with a spare piece of wire. And then after about 15 seconds, it should go into defrost mode. And what I'm listening for is for the fan to turn off. So if the fan doesn't cut off when you do this test, then you know that your control panel is defective. However, if the fan does shut off, that means that your defrost control panel is working correctly. And the problem could be either your temperature probe is not working or your refrigerant level is low. At that point, you might want to consult a HVAC specialist or do some further research. Since our fan didn't turn off, we'll need to replace the defrost control panel. Before beginning any of this electrical work, you're going to want to completely power down your HVAC system. So I just went ahead and shut off the breaker inside, and I'm also going to discharge the capacitor. You can discharge it by placing a jumper wire across each pair of terminals. At this point, all we're doing is simply transferring the wires one at a time from the old control panel to the new one. I found it was easier just to manage everything to remove the old panel from the heat pump machine and install the new one on so that when I'm replacing the wires it's nice and sturdy. So I put this new control panel in test mode. Now I'm going to go start everything up and see if everything turns on and then we'll test it again. So we'll hold the jumper wire here again to trip, trick the temperature probe just like we did earlier and we're expecting the fan to turn off after about 15 seconds. Awesome! So the fan turned off, which is part of the defrost cycle, which means that the defrost control panel is working correctly. So remember to take your timer off of test mode and then close everything back up. It was pretty easy to find our exact defrost control panel. Uh, we have a Goodman model heat pump, so I went to the Goodman supply house and it was right there if you type in the serial number. If your device is made in the last 15 years or so, that should be the case. If you have an older heat pump model, it might be a little bit more difficult to find. So after we replaced the defrost control panel and flipped the power back on, 
Um, it actually took a few minutes for the fan to kick back on. I was getting a little bit nervous that maybe it wasn't connected correctly, but I think it takes a few minutes for um, everything to re-energize and for the compressor delay to turn off. So after a few minutes, it should kick back on and start working correctly. This is one of those projects that I spent a couple hours doing research on, but it only took about five to 10 minutes to actually complete. Um, and it ended up really being worthwhile because like I said, this control panel was only about 65 bucks and it saved us a $940 bill from those HVAC specialists to do the replacement. If you ever feel unsure about what to do, do some more research and then of course consult a professional because this is the last thing you wanna screw up in your house. If you guys have any more suggestions for me, please put those down in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Thanks guys.